Hey guys, thanks for tuning into the Outdoor Enthusiast channel. So for today, I'm going to do a review on the Smith & Wesson MMP Shield in 9mm. This right here is the Gen 1. So there is a current new 2.0 that came out. This right here is the Gen 1. Did a bunch of reviews on it. What I want to do is replace the sights for you. So the sight picture right now is a typical Smith & Wesson 3 dot sight. Pretty standard. Dovetailed front and back with a little set screw right there. And what I want to replace them with are these Ameriglow Custom Firearms Pro Eye Dot. Now these are night sights, so they will glow in the dark at night. And I'll show you guys a little closer up view of these. But I have heard mixed reviews on how to install these and how easy it is. So I'm going to take you guys along for the ride and we'll talk about what you'll need. So like I said, I've heard these are some of the hardest sights to install. The shield for some reason has really stiff dovetails, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. Uh, there's three methods really to get this done for any handgun. Uh, the first method is gonna be a big brass punch like this or aluminum. You don't really want to use steel. You can, but you risk potentially marring up your gun with steel. Uh, so big brass punch. These you can find, I think they're like 10, 12 bucks on Amazon if you need one. This is a 3 8 3-8 cents right there. Uh, the other option is just uh, take it right to a gunsmith. They have specialized tools, special sighting tools, and they can do that for probably pretty cheap. And your final option is buy a nice sight tool. Uh, pusher really actually has a tool that grabs the slide and uh, cranks the sight off or adjustment. It's really a push adjustment tool. So those are three options. I'm going to try with the brass punch and then if I need to I'll kind of work my way around other means but hopefully this works out pretty easily. So what else you need is you need some grease or some oil rather, uh, CLP, help clean out the dovetail when you're done getting these sights off. You need some q-tips to do that as well. Uh, you might want to do some Loctite. Typically you might want to use red Loctite because what happens is at the end of this whole process when these are on there you can put some Loctite in the dovetail, let it set, wipe it away and it should help keep it in place. Uh, you also need a hammer and also a pencil. We'll talk about that when I go to the workbench, but you'll want to mark the center line. That way you can get a kind of better feel, or you can also use a caliper to be more precise. So going right into the packaging here, here it is, Ameriglow Custom Firearm Sights, a Pro IDOT MP Shield. These are the ones right off Amazon. Professional installation recommended. So giving this a try today. Here are the sights, pretty simple, and it does come with a wrench, which will fit right in here. All right, and that's a set screw you will have to remove, and we'll do that downstairs. So here is the sights. You'll see the front sight here. It does have a little logo, so it'll focus on there, real small. It says Ameriglow, there you go. Orange circle with the night sight tritium in the middle. And on the back, there you go, there's the same set screw. You'll see white dot with, again, the night sight tritium glowing part in the middle. So let's go ahead, take these downstairs. We'll talk about getting these off and then putting these on. So hopefully I have everything I need here that we'll need to get this job done. Uh, what I did add to this actually was the pencil I mentioned as well as a hammer. And something else you may need but may not is a file. Uh, preferably a nice flat file like this because uh, you may actually need a file off for fitment and we'll talk about that if we get there. Hopefully we won't need it but if we do we can talk about that. So uh, I did put a couple of drops of oil in here to kind of get some uh, oil getting in there to kind of help loosen it up. Hopefully we'll see if it helps. First thing is you take the wrench that is provided with the sight. Go ahead, unscrew this set screw. You can see it's pretty easy. No problems there. Just go ahead and take it all the way out. Be careful. Doesn't appear they put too much Loctite on there, but you can see there is a little bit of red Loctite, just a dab. All right, you can put that aside. I'll just leave it on the wrench. All right, you can see that there. So actually, originally Smith & Wesson's used to have where you need to drift it off right to left or left to right. But currently with the new Smith & Wesson's, it doesn't really matter. Um, I know a lot of folks still believe that you have to do it one way or the other. I'm gonna go ahead and do it right to left because that's how I've always done it. Right to left and then put it back on right to left. Let's go ahead, see if we can do anything. See if we can get some movement in here. Let's 
So it's hard to tell. I'm getting a little bit of movement though. Uh, you can see it actually sticking out a little bit over here. You can also see the brass and how this actually wipes away. That is a big part of the brass. I mean, you're gonna gnarl it up quite a bit uh, with these brass punches. But they seem to work pretty good. I'm gonna pause right here. It's kind of hard to tell, but right there underneath this site is actually a little plunger. It's a plunger and spring mechanism. Uh, it's part of the safety features of the shield. This will fly out. So as you're hammering, keep an eye on that. It's on the right side of the rear. And you'll see, because I had the punch nice and low, I went ahead and got this plunger out without any kind of problem with the spring flying around or anything like that. There it is. Set that aside so you don't lose it. There you have your rear sight. And furthermore, if you wanted to reuse these again, you'll see that brass actually can be cleaned up, which is the best part about using a brass punch. And I'll put the link to the brass punch as well as these sights below, or the night sights rather below. All right, so there's that. Next step, drop a little bit of oil on a Q-tip, something with some cleaning agents in there. Clean it up. Get this clean as much as you can. See it's quite, quite dirty under there. Get a fresh one, put another little dab on there. Clean it up. It's gonna help putting the new site on. All right, now that that is all cleaned and ready to go, so far this has not been that bad of a job with that brass punch. The brass is a very important piece here and it is gonna get kind of mangled a little bit there, but it works well. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is check for fitment for the new one. Uh, it's important to note that there is a set screw in there already. You can go ahead and back that off if you like, just a little bit. Two things I forgot to mention, one is Make sure you guys are wearing eye protection when you do this. Honestly, wearing eye protection is pretty important, uh, especially when you're hitting something that's metal with another piece of metal. Uh, second, I did make a central, center mark with pencil right there. It's a little faded, but that is a center point. So I'm hoping to aim for that with this to kind of get that set screw right in the middle. So let's go ahead, get this plunger in, Get this started. Once you get it started just a little bit, it should stay just fine. And let's hammer away. You can see how easy it is going in right now. It's really not that bad. Uh, they seem to be fitted quite well, which is good because I did not feel like filing this if I didn't have to. So that is just about perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and take this set screw out right here, put a little bit of Loctite on there, and screw it down. Get it nice and tight. Just hand tight, nothing more. And then next time you clean this, go ahead, give it a good scrub with oil. You can go ahead and remove a little more of that brass and it'll look good as new. All right, and the front is very similar to the rear, uh, except there is no set screw. So what you can do for the front, take your punch, get it in there. Do not put it against this post. If you can, if you can avoid it, try to hit the actual dovetail itself. The, the male portion of the dovetail because this post may snap. Almost got it. All 
All right, there you go. Got it out. And my poor brass punch. <laughs> so same thing like we did before. Go ahead and get your Q-tip. Get some oil on there. Get in there, clean out some of the brass flakes, some of the oil in there. There's no set screw, there's no spring and plunger, anything like that, which is good. Ready to go. So for the front post, here it is right here. Go ahead, test it out. And, oh yeah, should fit just fine. Guess you get your brass punch. And we're aiming for the center again. In fact, this one, was a little bit different. This one I did not put a pencil mark on, um, mostly because as you slide it, it kind of starts rubbing it away. So what I'm gonna do with this one actually is I'm gonna go ahead, kind of estimate where it is, and then I'm gonna take a tape measure, kind of measure exactly where it is. A better option is to do a caliper, but I don't have one of those. And I think we're there, guys. So go ahead, take a Q-tip, clean up some of the brass there. Again, next time you clean it, you can get this cleaned up a little more, but perfect. Looks like it's perfect center, and the rear is perfect center as well. Last step, we're gonna apply some Loctite in the dovetail right here and here. Use a little too much on the front there, but what we'll do is we'll wipe it away, let it set, and then wipe it away. Take out the vise. There you go. Got yourself the new sights. So overall, it wasn't that bad of a job to get done. Uh, I've read a lot of horror stories on the shield for the sights, and really, in reality, it wasn't that bad. Didn't damage the sights. Pretty easy kind of take off for the old ones. And honestly, the only thing that really kind of suffered was the end of my punch here and both ends, really. <laughs> so I'm gonna put links to the punch below as well as the sights below. Both are on Amazon. Um, here is the sight picture now. And the reason why people like these eye dots so much is because when you draw the pistol, you can go ahead and put one dot on top of the other and you're good to go. And here it is in the dark. You'll see there is the dot set up right there. Front sight, rear sight. So that's the part that glows and then the orange, you can't really tell. So that's it guys, uh, pretty easy install like I said. You could probably do it yourself, links below. Hey, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Head on over to our Instagram, we're at, at OutdoorEnthusiast88. Follow us there, we post pictures before any reviews come out. Kind of give you a heads up of what's going on, what we're working on. And next up, take this to the range, try it out, and see if you like your new night sights. So thanks for watching guys. Let me know if you have any questions below. I'll be happy to answer them and see you in the next review.